Hi everyone, uh, BIM Eaton is here. Today I would like to share you how to create two-point adaptive components in Revit. So let's start right now. Okay, before I go to the Revit window, so we may have to use Metro Generate Mode Adaptive Template. So we can create two-point adaptive component by using this one. Okay, so now go to the Revit window. I will click New and then I will choose Metro Generate Model Adapted Template. Then click Open. Okay, here is a default 3D view of the template. So I went to put two reference points uh, in this family. So I can use two view. The first one is reference level view, and the other one is 3D top view. So I will use 3D top view. Just click the top. Okay, so I'm gonna place reference point so I will go to the create tab after that click reference and then choose the reference uh, point element before I place the point element I have to check my my point must be toggle wall plane so I will use the toggle wall plane not toggle face so current is correct so just uh, place the point and then click modifying okay I want to copy this point to the other side I will use mirror tool. So select the point and then use this tool, mirror pick Acer, and then pick this reference line. Okay, now I can see two reference point. Okay, so I I want to change this reference point to adaptive point. So select this point and then change to the make adaptive. Select this point and make adaptive. Okay, so this point is number one, this point is number two. If you want to change the point number, so I will change number one to number two. The other point will automatically change to the red number. So if I want to change back to number one, just click and change. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the reference line. So just click reference and then use the line uh, the wall plane is correct, dragon wall plane. So my reference line start from here, start from this point and end this one. Okay, now I got the reference line. So I want to draw the circuit shape perpendicular of this current reference line. So before I draw the circuit line, I have to draw, I have to put reference point at the mid point of the reference line so just for the point okay then I will go to reference again and then before I draw the circuit line I have to set the work plane okay just click the set the work plane now my current uh, my current work plane is like that I want to use another work plane so just press the tab key on the keyboard then select okay now I will Draw circle, click circle, and then I will draw the circle. Okay, so I want to create parameter for the circle radius. So click the reference circle, and then we can see a uh, temporary dimension. So I will click this one, and then click this dimension. After that, I will create parameter. It is a radius. Okay, then. So now I will go into play the dimension value. Uh, how about 100? Why okay? Wow, this is quite small, but it's okay. Okay, so uh, I want to curate the solid file. So uh, click the circle and then select the reference line. Uh, after that, we can see this one. Create form. Create form have two options. The first one is solid, and the second one is um, white form. So I want to use the solid form. Okay, now this one changed to the solid form. Uh, so I have to check my parameter if it's correct or not. So just change 100 to 500. Apply. Okay. Okay. Now my profile is not correct. This became uh, an irregular shape. So in this condition, we want to get the regular shape. We have to select 
the solid profile and then we will use log profile okay so now i can see the same circle or this line okay so i will check again change 500 to 250 apply okay okay now it's correct all right so this is the two point adaptive component in Rabbit. So the next video I will show you how to use the Rabbit pattern by using two point adaptive component. Okay, so bye for now. See you. Bye bye.